Hi everyone, Jeep here. I thought I'd squeeze in a couple of hours at the end of the day because you really don't get beautiful weather opportunities like this in the spring. Allow me to explain a little bit. Every spring there's a brief window of opportunity between when you're dealing with biting cold and snow and bad weather and biting insects. And so I really wanted to get out and enjoy this brief window where there's beautiful weather, it's decently warm, it's hovering around zero, and there's no bugs. Oh, I love it. Okay, I have what I wanted right there, and now I gotta take it to another part of the woods where there's a little bit more light. Okay, uh, let's get to what I wanted to talk to you about. Okay, you've seen this. This is the Wool Mountain Anorak from Boreal Bushcraft Canada. What you may not know is that it came with an unfinished matching wool haversack. Now at first I was kind of surprised that it was an unfinished haversack, but it sat around for a little while and I was watching Spartan John's YouTube channel and he had a really cool wool haversack and so I contacted him about the strapping that he used to finish it. And he got his from Rob at Rob's Bushcraft and told me to get in contact with him and so I did. And between the two of them I finally figured out a cool way to finish it. So I started off by adding a piece of webbing and on each end of the webbing I have some metal D-clips. And to that I have attached a paracord belt. This is one piece of paracord about 80 feet give or take a few feet long and it's woven in such a way that it's quick release and one piece so if I need to get at this paracord material for some reason then it comes apart really easy I just untie this knot at the end and pull it apart to release the amount of paracord I need I'm quite proud of this project you can see the weave there it came out fairly nicely but then I thought to myself well, what happens if I need that paracord? How am I going to carry my haversack? Inside the haversack, I carry this shemog. Now, there are plenty of uses for a shemog, and I always wanted to have one, but this one can also be used as the strap for my haversack if I happen to use up this paracord. So I weave this together with a quick release clip here at the end. I can take the strap off of my haversack so now I can use this paracord for something else. So what I do is I feed one corner of the shemog through the D-ring like this and tie off a simple knot. Do that at both ends and voila! I have a comfortable way to carry my wool haversack once again. Now we all know how useful paracord is and we know how many uses we have for a shemog like this one and in my case it's definitely going to help me make sure that i can utilize both the paracord and my haversack so i want to send a special thanks out to spartan john's channel and rob's bushcraft channel thank you very much guys this project worked out really well and just for a little fun for Rob, I wanted to show him. He said in his uh, video that he could use his wool haversack as a warm hat in a pinch if he needed a hat. So I thought I would try mine on like that. <laughs> and I think with this flipped up like this, mine makes me look like some kind of a wannabe Pope. <laughs> but it's something you can do. That's just a smile for you, Rob. Okay, 
I'm almost losing my sunlight, so it's time to give this a test. Now remember, this is just a prototype, a proof of concept, to make sure this idea that was suggested by viewers and some users is going to work. I'm feeling pretty confident. Pretty sure it's gonna work. But you should know this is the third, yeah, third attempt at a redesign to make the Amazing Wilderness Camp Cot into a hammock. I think I've got it. Here we go. Okay. Supporting my weight. <laughs> but look at this, man. It's working. See how this is not sliding out like it did in previous videos? Yeah, I think we're sitting kind of low. I seem to be at a bit of an angle here. Not quite sure why. I'm gonna film it properly and the weekend if I can we'll do this upright thanks a lot for watching and uh, yeah I guess this is my vlog number four bye for now uh, it worked it worked I can't wait to get back here and reshoot this but it worked I'm so happy uh, yay finally it worked